and good afternoon, everybody. Well, actually, no, it's uh, more along the lines of good evening. I uh, had a little bit of technical difficulties with Chris Kelly, but we are good to go. Uh, as you can see, Chris Kelly is joining me this afternoon or this evening. Uh, how are you doing, Chris? Good. How you been? I can't complain. It's always a pleasure to have you on. So Good to be on. So we got a lot to talk about. We got nationals in a few weeks. We got the OCS wrapping up uh, for this month. We got the Jawa Brawl still going on. But I saw the big. I think the biggest news on everybody's plate is the fact that Set Fifteen is now is has been live now for what two weeks now. Yeah, it's been on for a little while. A lot of work went on um, behind the scenes to get it done. It actually came together a little bit quicker than than most sets. I think that has to do with how much uh, work all the volunteers put in up front on it, um, and hopefully everyone's enjoying it. So, how much time did it take to really get Set Fifteen? to the, the the point where it was released for everybody forever um it was it was partially in the works um around worlds actually um we're trying this new thing where we're just trying to have a reservoir of cards available ready for release okay um this was the first kind of set that does that so from here on out there should be uh, a more steady stream of of releases but 15 was in the works for a while 16 has been in the works for a while um, mm -hmm. Obviously, we're still gonna have some fresh stuff because the meta, um, you know, always goes in places we don't see. But it's mm -hmm. should all the hard work everyone's been doing behind the scenes should be paying off very soon. So, and I, I want to say this over like uh, we have an advantage over games that are currently still being printed, like Pokemon, Magic, whatever. Uh, we can go back and tailor cards that we created to the meta as they come out. So say, I mean, we've seen that before where we've had stuff that's overpowered with like Shadows of the Empire. Uh, how many times did we errat a map? Like seriously, uh, Lenny broke map twice and then everybody else broke map. So uh, hopefully we got it right now, but- No promises. <laughs> no promises. But I, I think I, I think people are, are understandable and willing to go with multiple erratas per se oh apparently chris just walks off <laughs> i don't know if the, the uh the light was bothering everyone oh yeah. but uh, i think we have a chance to go back and fix some of the mistakes that we have uh i'm not saying that playtesting isn't doing a good job i'm not saying design's not doing a good job but uh we all are sus uh success we're all prone to human error. I mean, I just messed up the word how many times there. Oh, you got to show off all your trophies. I see how it is. I just want to get out of the light. Yeah, that's yeah, right. I mean, you've got how many trophies there? At least I don't two. Know. At least two. Uh, not as big as uh, just in the science collection, though. And you're still missing the option. Only, only one person has a collection bigger than Justin Desai's. Yeah, who's that? Uh, maybe i mean i i think uh i think bashing got a very big collection yet yeah, just size got a pretty big collection joe's slowly building up a collection uh you still are missing the obelisk though i am uh this last world was my best showing fourth it's all right um I always tell people like my my ability to play and play test and be good at this game has declined sharply um, since being an advocate. Well, that's that's well, fair. I mean, you're the only advocate to win a major. Is that true? Yeah. That's that surprises me, but um, I, I understand it because it's so much work behind the scenes. Like we can't, um, you know, if, if we're our Star Wars CCG time doesn't always go to playtesting or uh, going on GAMP and, and scouting and, and thinking of cards and talking in, in your playtest group. Mm -hmm. um, I'm probably the worst person to playtest with because I'm so flaky in and out, so I apologize to everyone. But um, True. Yeah, for, fourth is pretty good considering I have all the other responsibilities. And, and that's fair. Maybe you should tone down a little bit about those, but I'm just saying. But no, let's go back to set. what? Maybe you should tone down some of your responsibilities. <laughs> Games got to keep moving. Got to keep moving. Okay, but let's go back to set fifteen. We're here to talk about set fifteen, not about the fact that you're lacking trophies. 
So I would also like to stop talking about lacking trophies. There we go. So you did this. This was was this the first set for the pods? Because I know last week we had. Uh, I'm blanking on his name. Uh, I know his name's Wend. 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 Uh, a- Andrew, yeah. Andrew, Andrew Moss. We had Andrew Moss yeah. on last week, and he was talking about how he was in the pod for Rescue the Princess. Was this the first set for those pods? Yeah, and I just I want to thank Andrew on a moment's notice coming on here, and you and he did great. That was a great interview. Anyone who hasn't watched that, please go check it out. It was, re- it was really good by both of you. Um, that was the first pod. Um, to be fair to everyone, so we started this pod process where certain people um, outside of design are now in design for their specific theme. Um, the player card developers obviously are very accustomed to working behind the scenes and the card development process. Um, they had a little bit of a head start because we knew who they were, their pod was in place, mm-hmm. and they just clicked and gelled and they used their experience and, and came up with a great, great theme and it, it catapulted right to the top. So that was the first pod um and i'm actually really excited about it because i don't remember um the feedback amongst the community saying the f word so much everything has been fun 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 oh fun. that this looks fun i want to try it this looks fun yeah i, that I mean um so great job by them great job by them and that's and that's a good i mean i'm glad that people are saying that the deck and being uh, what are you saying the deck is fun or the being in the pod and working from that aspect was fun. I, I think Rescue the Princess is just a fun theme. It's it's the a New Hope versions of the characters running around Death Star shooting people, um, disguised as stormtroopers, saving a sarcastic princess. That's that's Star Wars. Um, we haven't really, in the history of the game, had uh, a theme that wants to battle on the Death Star, and that's mm-hmm. crazy. Um, so I'm really glad that pod was able to come together and credit to everyone on the pod, um, you know, for, for bringing it about. I, I think it's really fun. And uh, I think the feedback's been great about it. And you know what? I mean, playing the deck, I, I like how there have been a lot of people who have built it so many different ways. We've seen like people are building with Dodge, people are building it with, uh, lift tubes of all things. Like uh, lift tube and lift tube escapes. Uh, people have been playing it with uh, the light side stunning leader, which I can't remember, or blasted orchid. So there's yeah. been multiple How different ways. Is that? Yeah, there's plenty of different ways to build it. So I, I mean, I'm I'm happy to see the deck go that way. But I, I will say this: the deck feels like it's not there yet. Like we have the we have the 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 base of it. We have the foundation. We're just mid- missing the the interior beaming and the interiors like all the the stuff to to put the house together. Uh so I'll I'll disagree a little bit. I think the house is there. I think people just want the chimney and the finished basement. Um, I think that it's a good structure. Uh, keep in mind also we just came off of um, not a tweak set, but mm-hmm. uh, a conscious effort to roll back. A lot of stuff not just tier one stuff but the stuff that we thought might creep up we we hit a lot of decks on purpose even ones that weren't dominating the the meta just to make sure that everything was kind of starting off on a slightly less playing field um so we we just came off that so we don't want to all of a sudden then catapult a new deck there um i think rescue princess it's it's, you can win some games with it um but you're right it's not it's not going to roll over everything and that's that's good and I think it has a big natural enemy in Darth Vader, the Emperor's Enforcer, because you're only running with one guy, unless you're running like Ahsoka in the deck, or you you really only have one character whose ability greater than five in the deck. Well, Luke gets around Vader, just like the movies. Luke's does... ability four. Oh, yeah, that's right. So he, he gets around Vader, but hey, that's cool though, isn't it? I mean, mm-hmm. Vader comes on the Death Star, y- y'all gotta be scared. True. And that makes sense. Like, in the movies, Vader ignored Luke and went for Obi-Wan, but I mean, okay, that's that's fair. That's fair. But, I, I mean, and the other thing is, the deck doesn't have any, it doesn't really have a space present yet. 
Like we haven't like I, I don't think it, it's been running a lot of like green cards and that takes away from the space that you would normally see. So it is a one theater type of a deck, it seems like. I think it is one theater, but I do think there's some surprise space. I've seen some games with um, surprise space that catches people off guard. Okay. And I know a lot of the loop that you run, he's pretty good in space too. Uh, that is, that is a good point. That is a very good point. Now I will say this though. Uh, people are saying that the dark side really didn't get anything in this set. I got what, six cards. Yep. And I mean, it did get a kind of a new theme with the flagship operations epic event. But again, that is a deck that really, what do you, what do you want to do with the cards? Like with the new Piet and the new, uh, the new epic event. I think a few things. First off, the the P at a standalone kind of good. Um, you know, he doesn't pull the Admiral's order anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, but he he does stop landing claw, and that's that's pretty cool. Um, so I think the yeah. P at alone is is a good add. Um, he's one of those nice niche cards that's not overpowering, but he can be an, a a big upgrade if if you make that deck a building choice. Um, flagship ops is one another theme that people just thought was fun um mm -hmm. we don't want the tie squadrons to be destiny 55 so we kind of nix that but mm -hmm. other than that it's it's a deck that people can have fun with um you know and have space ruling the the, the galaxy and I, I really like the theme and the flavor of the epic event all the lines the alliance will die as will your friends mm -hmm. we're not going to attack um that that's pretty cool um but it's obviously um you know two weeks before set 15 got spoiled everyone's complaining that dark side was way overpowered light side couldn't win and now mm -hmm. we're hearing you know the opposite so i think the meta is what the meta is it's it's not insanely imbalanced don't listen to all the doomsayers it's 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 within the 40 yard lines we're we're okay um but also you know there with the pod system it, it's good because with more frequent releases, there's less pressure to release uh, a theme that might not be ready. There was a theme we could have thrown into um, to set 15, and okay. it would have been fine. I just didn't think it was there. I thought we could do a little bit better, and we are doing better. Um, so that's getting tweaked, and there's less pressure to release it because we know we can release it soon anyway. Okay. Um, so, so I think the pod system really is, is going to give us flexibility. So two questions on that. One this new theme that you're talking about, is it light side or dark side? A dark side. There's, okay. There were going to be more dark side cards in there. Okay. And number two, are we going to be seeing this uh, this theme potentially in a set 16? I, I think so. Um, I didn't know if you want to talk to six, uh, talk about 16 later, but I, I think this, this theme will, will meet uh, 16, just because, like I said, it was pretty close, but I thought we could do better, so we held it back. Mm -hmm. And we will we will do better. We'll get it. We'll get it. So, yeah, let's talk about sex, set 16 at this point, because it's a good segue. So, are we going to see the pods work with set 16? You said that a lot of the stuff that from 15 that you didn't want to rush was moving to set 16. So, are we going to see some of those, those cards specifically in set 16? The theme that I'm talking about is actually, it's a design theme from okay. 16 that we held back. Um, so as far as the pods, I, I think one pod theme is all but certain to make the next set. Okay. Um, the, the other pods aren't quite there yet, but you know, a lot of them are working very hard. Um, so I, I think 16 will have the main, uh, dark side theme will be a design theme. Okay. Um, there'll be a few sprinklings of, of, uh, helper cards, much like shadow collective had, I think two cards in 15. Yeah. There's going to be another, um, tier two ish type deck that's going to get some helpers for dark side and um and then can you tell us what that deck is a, a, can you tell us what that deck is um i i could but a communications disruption would only mean one thing and i don't think we're ready to say that even star wars bro i do star wars i'm not gonna i'm not gonna go there all right well if you read if you watch all the movies you'll be in complete control of the, the the hints. <laughs> okay, that's that's fair. So now you're saying that that is that those hints that you just gave is alluding to. Now is this a? Um, are we going to see any new themes instead of helper cards for set thir uh, for set sixteen? 
Uh, speaking solely about Dark Side, um, uh, yeah, let's go with Dark Side first. There is a brand new theme. Yeah, okay. there's a brand new theme um, for sure. That's the design theme that we kind of held back um, from 15. That that should make 16. But again, if it's not ready, we, not we have ready. less pressure. Um, so th there's a big theme. It's probably about 12 cards, um, which should be in 16. And then there are um, one or two um, other existing themes that we kind of want to focus on that don't see all of that much play. Um, but okay. we'd like to because they're fun. So... Is any particular person going to be happy about those particular themes that you're talking about? I've learned by now there's going to be happy people and there's going to be unhappy people. Um, we just try to do the best job we can and make the game as fun as we can. Okay. Um, and hopefully everyone... Uh, I remember when I first joined Design, my first full set was Set 8. And my goal with that was to make sure the PDF had something for everyone. Even if you didn't mm -hmm. like the main theme, there's at least one card you want to cut the PDF out for. Um, I think I think 16 is going to be broad enough where you'll everyone should have something they like. So are we talking we're going to get more cards than set 15 with set 16? Uh, the same amount of cards, less cards... You want to ballpark it? I, I Just give us a figure. I think 16 is going to be a little more... Um, if if I had my druthers, well, you do. Uh, You're the design be... advocate. I'm I'm a servant of the design and development team. Well, um, you're you're a servant, uh, but you're the leader. So I, in know, reality, like you know the... what? You're the leader of design, but you're a servant to the community. So I, you get you, know, you get the like final the... say. You get the final say. So are we ball? Oh, come on, give us a ballpark I, yeah, number. I... That's not how. Um, that's not how I try to to run the group. Um, well, ballpark I mean, number would be more than fifteen. More than fifteen. Okay, more than fifteen. Car. Sorry, so set fifteen had how many cards in it? I'm sorry. Yeah, it was, this this set would have more than set fifteen had. Okay, so set fifteen set had. Would be a larger. So it had six dark side. Oh, I don't have the chat open. I don't so know. So it had twenty eight cards. Are you watching in it. the chat? Yeah. I am. I am. Okay. So it had twenty eight cards in it total. Are you saying that it's gonna have fifteen more cards, so forty three ish? Or just No, I, I apologize. I, I I was slapped with my wording. I just meant it's going to have more cards than set fifteen. Has. Okay, but how many cards It'll more than set fifteen? How many more cards than set fifteen? Uh that's that's hard to answer. Um I'm a big proponent of make things as, as, as tight as you can to try to not have the bloat. Um, and along the way, and this, this is what happened with the last theme, why we cut it, it there was a lot of bloat. Um, mm -hmm. So I don't want to set a number down. It'll be as many cards as I think are necessary and fun. Um, but it, with the number of themes we're trying to do, I, I think it'll be, it, it'll, it'll be larger. So I got a statement in the chat right now from one Mr. Bill Kafer. He says that you promised him that you he would be happy about with one card in particular from set sixteen. Please elaborate yes. on that. Uh, this this is a story uh, some people might get, but for those who who don't, I used to be a player card developer, um, and Bill had always two there are as his player card, mm -hmm. um, and hopefully I'm not like spoiling anything. I apologize if I am, but. Who's going to yell at me if I do? Um, so he wanted it to be Destiny 2 squared to keep with the theme of 2 Sith, but not have a terrible Destiny 2 card, have it okay. be Destiny 4. Um, a lot of player card developers were against that because it's wonky. Because they're boring. I was all for it. It was awesome. Because they're um, boring. That's amazing. Two yeah, squared. that is amazing. Yeah. Um, like... So I was for it. And I remember he went to an event we are all at, and he was basically talking about the, the player card development process. And I remember he said, and I think it's one of the funniest things ever, because I, I was pushing for this to happen. And he's like, Chris, you're the only player card developer who tries to make the card stronger. Um, so ever since then, I've been on his, his side and his quest to make it two squared. <laughs> um, I will tell him I can't make it two squared because I hate math, but I can make it Destiny 4. Um, 
so there is something in the works to to um, deal with the Sith. I mean, I don't know if anyone has ever told you the story of um, Darth Plagueis the Wise. It's I've this read, tragedy. I've read it um, before. Yeah. I, I'm surprised. It's not something the Jedi would tell you. Um, but there, there's some there's some cool uh, Sith stuff in the works. Well, uh, I, I'm hopeful for 16. I'm getting I'm getting bored with all these Jedi running around the galaxy. I'm ready for them to die. Are there really Jedi running around the galaxy nowadays? Yeah, there's this guy named Luke Skywalker, Jedi Knight. He's still playing played in Hitco He's... for some stupid reason. And like, is I mean. I... I guess what we'll find out, but um, I think Hicko probably got a, a decent boost, so it should be pretty good. Um, not not where it was as far as consistency is. Mm -hmm. um, it should be strong, but I, I don't know about TRM. I don't know how much um, Jedi there are. I think of late, all of the strong light side beams have been um, divided by character base, character hey, restrictions. That's a so good it's not point. like you're seeing yeah. you know, Luke and Mace and you know, Qui-Gon all together. True. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm okay with that. When's the last time you saw Luke and on the table at the same time? Uh, I don't know, but I know uh, Tom Hayde tried to do that a couple of years ago at uh, Worlds. So, okay, here's the big question that I know everybody's going to be, uh, that is on everybody's mind when we're talking about 616. Well, actually, you know what? We'll wait on that. We'll wait on that. We'll wait on that question because we got to talk about that during Swing and a Miss. So... Now we're looking at sit sixteen, obviously. If the chat, if the chat gets more active, like yeah. that Bill story, I wasn't planning on um, spoiling that that theme in sixteen. Uh, but if they get more active, I'll. So I'll, here's a question: I'll go crazy. Are it's we going to see some more? Uh, somebody brought up a, 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 that one of the cards that they want to see in set sixteen rhymes with Sarah Plume. Are we going to see somebody? Who? Sarah Plume. Uh, she's this character from uh, a certain Disney show. That you saw on Disney Plus. You've never seen the man. Have you seen the Mandalorian? Yeah. Who's Sarah Plume? Rhymes with Sarah Plume. Oh. Cara, Cara Doom. Doom. Yeah. Are we going to see anything from oh, the Mandalorian? Um, or is anything from the Mandalorian in the works? There is an entire theme of Mandalorian cards. Um, I don't expect it to be in 16 for a few reasons. Um, one, it, it the mechanic that we wanted to go with is awesome, exciting, new, refreshing, but incredibly complex to pull off. And I, I think, I don't want to speak for them because they're magicians, pretty hard to code into gimp um okay. and even the way it plays out it, it's kind of difficult so we're, we're rethinking that we're trying to pull off as much of it as we can so we kind of pulled that back from mm -hmm. the back burner to allow the other things that we think can go forward um so there's an entire mandalorian theme um i, I don't think it'll be in 16 i also think if we did push it for 16 it would just make the set huge because the the theme itself is, is pretty big okay so it's uh, almost like that would be the only light side theme Ah, interesting. So yes, it, and then actually, there's there's Caradoon where there's all all the, all the players from the Mandalorian have cards. Um, it's mm -hmm. just the, the overwhelming, if you want to call it, objective, epic event, whatever. However, we're deciding to do that. That's kind of um, holding things up. Now, are we talking about in, in, a, in a good way? Because we're taking our time figuring it out. In a good okay, way. so are we talking like season one of the Mandalorian? Or are we talking like season two? Because season two was, I mean, season two was just so much be more uh, was so much better than season one, in my opinion, at least. Because we got a new Boba Fett, we got Fennec Shad, yeah. we got so much from season two that I would love to incorporate in the game. Come on, like a new uh, uh, another Ahsoka for. for Come on. Yeah, and I think that's a great point, Dan. That's a great point. Like, for me, season one was more fun, but season two was more awesome. Um, one is just like a great train ride. You know, it's, it's, it's a fun time, but then season two just blows you away. Um, the, the theme would be both seasons. Um, okay. You know, one of the, the – I just mentioned character restrictions. One of the character restrictions was you can't deploy Jedi except for Luke and Ahsoka. Yeah. Um, Okay. You know, okay, so. that's interesting. Uh, and I, not to throw any spoilers out there, but I mean, it has been long enough, at least in my opinion. Are we going to see new Grand Admiral Thrawn? Like something about 
Um, uh, have we seen a new Grand Admiral Thrawn? I don't think we've seen him yet. Not yet. Um, there but... is a card. There is a card that is in the Mandalorian theme that references. Well, uh, I think Chris just lost his connection. Uh, hopefully, Dan oh. Freeze, am I in charge of the show now? No, I'm still here. You froze on me. Oh, oh, you see, it looked like you froze. I was like, I'm in charge. Sweet. No, you don't want to be in charge. I don't. No. So you were saying uh, there is a card that reference is Grand Admiral Thrawn. Is this correct? Yeah, I mean, and again, this is so far out. Who knows what's going to make it? But right now, in the Mandalorian theme, we have. Okay. Um, there's a card that mentions Grand Admiral Thrawn. Okay. And is there anything else, like, I mean, we've seen so much with, like, Rogue Squadron, or are we getting, or not Rogue Squadron, Rogue One. Like, I'm, I'm hoping we get something for a little bit more with Rogue Run. I'm hoping we get some more with Episode Nine. Uh, we need some more clone stuff. Like, we've got, we got the new Set 15 card, uh, uh, crap, I can't think of it, uh, For the Republic. I mean, one, we have a light side trooper assault, and two, that's the best image in Star like in all the cards we have, like hands down. You hit the nail on the head. I was gonna say that, regardless of the text in the card, graphics nailed every card in this set. They did an awesome job. Um, Ming took the lead in graphics. All the credit goes to him. Uh, Christian ran away with so many things. Did a fantastic job. Everyone in graphics just really came together. Um, that might be one of the better images we've ever put on a card. Um, yeah, hands down. So as far as clones, I think right now, let's see where they're at. I think they're in a good spot. We've been kind of adding clones here and there throughout, um, building them up slowly. They might be okay now. Um, we'll see where they are. Uh, they, they have a natural home in WAP. They're probably okay in hyperdrive. They might be good on their own. I don't know. Well, the problem with um, WAP, the but... biggest problem with WAP is, is there's this dude called Maul out there who... Now you says you can't cancel your destiny? Come on, that's just brutal. Yeah, but if they're using that mall, they're not using the other malls. Still. I mean... The other malls are pretty good. The, the other malls are pretty good, but at the same time, you put that mall, like, it's still pretty brutal against WAP. Um, yeah. yeah. On top of that, yeah. is that is is that mall, like, is that something you guys, like, uh, the CBT... Like the competitive balance thread, are they looking at that mall in any way? Um, I haven't seen any discussion about that mall really. I think that mall's pretty cool. Um, mm -hmm. I think that mall costs appropriate. You know that persona. Um, I haven't seen anything, but um, you know we we do have internal discussions. Generally, when there's a public discussion, we'll. We'll mirror it. We'll at least start a thread saying, hey, people are talking about this. Is there anything there? Um, I haven't even seen a public discussion of it. Okay. Um, I don't know if there's any plans really to change him. I don't know that we need to. His mm -hmm. destiny is awesome. I know that. Yeah, I mean, that destiny now alludes to like stuff like two to the square two. Or two, whatever. I'm trying, Bill. I'm trying. I know you are. Okay, so really quick, let's go into some of our uh, normal spiel that we go into. So really quick, let's do a, uh, a rundown here. So uh, right now in the OCS, uh, we have a new number one, a Golden Guard, Charlie, uh, uh, Golden, Golden God, Charlie Arlinson is our current number one right now. Uh, apparently he played six games in the last 48 hours and went undefeated this month. So, congrats to Charlie. Uh, Dylan is still holding on to qualifying. I want to say today is the last day to qualify. So, unless somebody miraculously unseats him, it looks like Timo is going to qualify as well. And MHT, Silver Glenn also, they both went 11-1. Uh, and one. And then Wayne. How about Wayne going 10-2 and two in the last, in this month? With an opponent's win percentage of 58, that is insane. Like, congrats. Uh, yeah, so, so, and then uh, rounding out, uh, yeah, that's our top five right there. Chris Kelly, you went seven and five this month. That's still solid. So, good job. I played five games yesterday. I think I conceded on turn three and a bunch. I had to get my 12 games in. 
Yeah. Um, and I think that goes back to what I was saying. I don't really have much time to, to gamp around. Um, and I got other stuff going on. So I, I had, I got some games in line. I actually, one of my games was Charlie. Um, I, I played him super aggressive. It was hunt down versus hit go mm. bad matchup for me. I just dropped some people first battle didn't go my way. Forget it. Um, yeah. move on to the next game. So. And I'll again, just be playing. And then in the Jawa Brawl right now, Timo is still our number one seed at 10 and two. Joe Olson is really, really close to that being 10 and 0 himself. Uh, Ace Mace is currently at nine and three, and then let's see, Chris Kelly, you're six and three, so that's still pretty solid. And then looking down the column, uh, guys, a lot of people still have yet to play this month, so I think they're waiting until next month when there's no OCS. Uh, we still have two people who down here who are three and zero. Oh, uh, Coffee Pass, Drew oh, Mitch. So the the brawl goes into next month, and there's no OCS. Correct. Oh, I should have waited on my games then. Yeah. I'll have nothing to do. Drew is currently 3-0, and uh, this guy right here, you might know him. He's 3-0 and as well. Is that you, Dan? That is me. I'm going to take you down. No, you won't. Next episode of Dan Plays, Jabba Brawl. Oh, Let's please. do it. I mean, we're 1-1 one one together. I'm going to let the Dune see. Also... Nationals is in a few weeks, everybody. If you have not signed up, please get on it and sign up. We are 30 players. Uh, Chris, I don't see you're on, you on there. If I go, and I do want to, um, if I go, it'll be a last-minute decision uh, with my work right now. Mm -hmm. I can't really commit to much. Um, but I will say this to to help people and I, I sincerely mean this it, it's going to be a great event um the first oh, event yeah. back uh but also i happen to know what some of the prize support is and, and that makes me want to go even if i don't play it's um it, it's some something really cool um and and also even if you're not like a, a veteran um i know that um they just made a bunch of new uh narp articles getting back into the game um narp decks try funny, to check those out funny uh, you should mention that uh lost tome ancient tome uh he recently posted a nice big article uh if you want to go to that it's only it's in deck discussion primers and tutorials i uh, he's got ones on hunt down isb scum and villainy old allies profit diplo so he's got articles yeah, on all, all stuff, of those so. and including some nice pictures he's got examples of the deck for like with his hunt down he's got justin aside versus cat walls he's the chosen one from the 2020 matchup so he's got some interesting be uh points on those so yeah if you're looking for some uh information if you're new returning go ahead and check out these uh hopefully they help you out a little bit again all you got to do is go to the forums deck discussion and then primers and tutorials uh, but back over to Nationals really quick. We do have a lot of people showing up. Joe Olson is going. Kyle Kruger. Uh, both played at Worlds. Uh, Wurfs. Chris uh, Hayes Hunter. Ryan Saracen. Matt Wadden. Uh, Apollyon. CRG. David Woods. Uh, Justin Miyashiro. Big fan of the show. Mike Turner. Uh, Charlie Ardlinson's Bane. Uh, Wallset's going. Harpster's going. Uh... Lee Edwards and Cal Aldrin are going, both of them. Brian Fred got off to to go to this event. Uh, Dennis Reinhardt, Batmouse is going to be there. And Matt Sperling off of his uh, top three from uh, the Mythic Championships of, uh, or that was the Strict Saving Championships for Magic. So a lot of good players are going to be there. I know Jerry's going to be there. I know I'm going to be there, so I'm excited. Yeah, Dorsch is going. Come on, people, sign up for this. I know Adam bought uh, a, lot of, a lot of great people going. It's a lot of great people. Great it's going to be it's going to um, be a great time. If it wasn't time. work, I would be out uh, DN. Um, so I, everyone should go, and hopefully, last minute, I can see you there. Yeah, and I know one thing. Uh, I'm going to be giving out something special to everybody who is registered for the event or who is who all is there. So that's going to be a good little prize support. So. Chris is going to be missing and out on the, that. The prizes are going to be very, very cool. If I can't make it, I'm going to regret it. So Yeah. Yes, you will. So let's go into Swing and a Miss really quick, Chris. Are you ready? I'm ready. All four, Wait, 
All four questions are going to be about set 16. Okay. Okay, what do you got? I just... So I'm, uh, I'm, I think people have heard me talk about, I'm like kind of descaling my collection. Um, again, I just, I have, I have way too many cards and with Gamp, you don't need as many. So I'm going through and I'm breaking down decks and you, you want to see my favorite card of all time? Yes. Can you see it? Yeah. Luke Skywalker, Japanese. It's Japanese Luke with the original V-slip. Remember when V one yeah. came, first came out, the first yeah. players committee. Yeah. So I remember putting that. that I remember playing desk. that. Oh my gosh! I gotta play this. Play that and watch your step back in and the day. And even like the the deploy and the forfeit are moved up because remember the the uh -huh. architecture used to have a hologram right there that covered the forfeit. So yeah, this is my favorite card of all time. This is incredible. Sorry, I can't, Sorry, I, I can't believe you're descaling. You I, I, I can't believe you're, about that. I can't believe you're descaling your collection. Maybe next time I'm on, I'll show you my fistful of LSJKs. Well, if you do that, I'll show you my binder of them. I'm working on that. Okay, let's go to the swing and a miss right now. Okay, first question. Set 16 will be released by September 1st. Are we waiting for audience participation? We're going to go right into this. Come on, Mr. Advocate. I feel like if I give the answer, it's, there's no fun. Well, I'm going to say, I don't have the chat open. so, okay, okay, you don't have the chat open, but right now, okay, let's see. Uh, we have one person saying yes, we have another saying that I I don't care about V set 15, that's Bill. Uh, Dorsh is saying set one seems aggressive. Set one seems aggressive? Or September 1st seems aggressive. Um, I'm going to say yes. Who uh, that is the new person, Pat S, Pat S K O T. Uh, Jag Tech is saying miss. What are you saying, Dan? I'm saying hit. I'm because saying hit. what? I'm saying hit. September first. September first. I like that. And you know what? The reason I pick September first this gives people at least a month and a half before Worlds to test everything. And I mean, yeah, there's the OCS of September and everything, but I mean, everybody's gonna be everybody's gonna want to go to Worlds. Like I know, I know Justin Desai, Steve Baroni might go. I'm, I'm assuming you hopefully will go. Joe Olson needs to go just to. Uh, defend his championship. I need to go in some aspect. The Pittsburgh guys need to go. Scott needs to go because he's not going to be at Nationals. So yeah, everybody needs to go. So what, September 1st, you said gives them a month? Yeah, a little over uh, a month and a half. Okay. And I'm going to say this. I think design needs to give us set dates from now on on what sets are going to come out. No more of this, like, oh, it's going to, so, we might come I'll, out I'll in a week. Right now. Oh, Chris just froze again, everybody. Uh, apparently, he doesn't want to talk about release dates. Two days again. late. Um, yeah, and it just became not worth it um, to the point where we have goals. We, we tell you guys where we aim um, in the general vicinity, but not everyone realizes all of the work that goes into it after design's done with the set. Um, there's graphics, an entire team of graphics people, and there's an entire team of PDF people. Um, all of those yeah. people need time to do their work and breathe. And I'm of the type that I understand this is a volunteer position. If someone has something going on in their real life, or maybe they can't do what they were supposed to do one night and the set's delayed a day, I don't need people complaining about that person. Um, so if you want to yell at me that the set's not when it is that's fine you can do that um but that's that's realistically why we stopped giving the exact dates we give you targets and we aim for the targets um and and to be honest we we're in advance of the target with 15. we're yeah. actually released 15 earlier than what the internal release by date was um so we're doing a great job with it but uh to to give public dates just leads to disappointment that's fair Okay, on to set number, question number two. 
set 16 will have at least two new objectives. Okay, let's give the chat. Right, now I got the chat on. Yeah, I was gonna say let's give the chat a, 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 a second here to uh, to keep going. So, chat, what do you think? At least two objectives for set sixteen. I'm gonna say miss. I think we're gonna have one. Well, uh, that's just if my. I had to that's guess just right me. now. I'd say you're right. Uh, Dorsh is saying I think, miss. I think you're right. Yeah, I think I can see one. I see. I think we're going to, down the line, we're going to have a little bit more of the objectives, but I think with this one, I can see one. Okay. Question but one. I think there'll be multiple new deck types. Okay, now that's interesting. Okay, on to question number three. Set 16 will bring balance to the force. What does that mean? Bring balance like to the force. Like, go, like, Anakin Skywalker, like, there's good in him. Well, you watched episode three, right? Yeah. Yeah, bringing balance to the force. What, what <laughs> like, as in a bunch of Jedi are going to die? Possibly. Um, I think there will be a theme... Devoted to having the Sith rule the galaxy and wipe out the Jedi. I think there'll be a theme for that. I'm all for Jedi dying. Let's kill them all. They're useless. Let's bring balance Whatever to the you force. say, Sheev. And our Don't last... be all the, the... You know, just because the dark side's going to get a theme like that doesn't mean the light side won't either. It's... That's true. Okay, on to our last question of the night. Set 16 will be Chris Kelly's last set as design advocate. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll let the chat respond first. Chat, you want to uh, you want to comment on this? Set 16 will be Chris's last one. We got some people saying uh, miss. We got some people saying one says, I hope that's a miss. And we have one emphatic yay. <laughs> Dude, can I guess who said the yay? Um, <laughs> yeah, I think that's that's a. What's the what's the longest design advocate tenure? Uh, I want to say maybe. Well, I know it went Tomaszewski and then Karuli and then you. Yeah, but before before Mike, I don't even remember. I mean, during the the pre reset era, um, I, that'd be a great question. If there's any PC yeah. historians to know who who the longest um, uh, Justin was. Justin Miyashiro uh, says. Uh, he, uh, so Justin says hit because you're going to change your title. When am I going to change my title to? Um, yeah, I think, uh, that is something I would first tell, you know, my, my team, if mm -hmm. I was going to leave, I'd owe that to them. They work so hard, put up with so much. Um, I would tell them first and then I'd, I'd owe a few other people, uh, the advocates, obviously Scott, um, some other people I'd owe that, but, uh. I, I do know how I'm going to go out. I, I know exactly how I'm announcing my retirement. Um, oh. And it's going to be cool. I want to I want to know how you're going to announce your retirement. I'm not going to say that on air. Uh, but, it yeah, I, I already know how I'm going out. Is it going to be like uh, how Jeter did his retirement? I was at that game. That game was amazing. Walk off on your last game, that's Hollywood stuff. Um I would think one of those games would probably be the most exciting. The most exciting game I've ever been to was when uh, Ripken broke Lou Gehrig's streak. Oh, you wrote that game? That's yeah. awesome. That's great. He homered in that game, right? Uh, I honestly don't remember, but I know he homered in his last All-Star oh, game. I think he had a home run. Yeah, I yeah. want to say he did. That's that's history. That's great. Okay, so that's all we got for Swing and a Miss. Uh, that was all set 16 oriented and everything. Uh, really quick, before before we get into your lore challenge, 
Uh, I want to say June's deck building challenge is almost over. Uh, I want to say there's only a little bit of time left. Uh, only one person entered on this one. Uh, Justin Miyashiro entered. So I want to say, Justin, you're going to be getting this one. Uh, so unless somebody magically enters... And you know what, Justin, you didn't even enter in June. You entered in May. Like, nobody wanted to participate in June's deck building challenge. So, uh, you know what? You entered in May, you don't get it. <laughs> give the man a prize! Of course I'm going to give the man a prize. I'm just being a jerk. And uh, considering that you just saw me post something really quick there... Uh, June's or July's deck building challenge is going to be with Rescue the Princess. You need to win. It can be in a Jawa open, no OCS because there is no OCS this month. Any format you want, as long as a league format, uh, you need to win with Rescue the Princess and have the Falcon at the Death Star docking bay and then have Han, Chewie, Leia, and Luke all on the table at the same time. So you have to have the Falcon on the table, all four or all of the four, the four main characters, and then win. Hey, I, sorry to keep uh, bringing the show in other directions, but they're popping in my head. Um, have you uh, revealed or spoiled your cool thing? Yes. That you posted pictures of. Yes. You have okay. It's part of it. Right. So uh, we'll get into and, that. Have, have you spoiled the the insides? Or no. no. I don't, I don't even know if you're live. I don't want to be not jerk, yet. But they're cool. Not yet. They're they're awesome. They're, they're uh, really good. I'm going to say this. So awesome. uh, we'll get into that in a second. So let's get into your lore challenge first. Okay. Are you ready? Let me shut down my phone because I have the app open. Okay. Okay. So first things first. Again, do you want to have the type of card or would you like the set? Get me. The type. It's an interrupt. Please. Okay. It's an interrupt. And I will say, I will be greatly disappointed in you if you miss this. Sorry to keep letting you down. Your lore challenge is the Emperor knew, as I did, if Anakin were to have any offspring, they would be a threat to him. You are our only hope. Our only hope. Our only hope. Final answer. Final answer. Yeah, you got it. Okay, Chris. I'm gonna roll with these. Well, I mean, you did get the one for the advocates, but so. And I got the one with Jared. Yeah, you I've did. You, you, you did hold his hand to help him win that one. You're funny. <laughs> I try. Oh, uh, damn, the passive-aggressive jokes. Well, I'm going to say this. So, Chris, it, again, so I will. Uh, I know I spoiled these last week, but this week, uh, for winning, you will receive a pack of the Hollow Theater Heroes. Uh, this is a six-card pack, which contains the following. It will contain two V-cards, two random V-cards, a actual Star Wars card. Uh, no, I'm sorry, we'll not be getting L LSJK. Uh, because these are coming from my collection. Uh, so you'll get a random hey. salt. I have a question. Yeah. Sorry, again, I keep doing interrupting and ruining your show. Um, are you? Are any of the cards you're including randomly hollow theaters? I don't know. If, if they are, or if they're like hologram related or something like that, can you sign it? I was thinking about doing that. That's a cool idea. Anyway, sorry. Go so, on. again, you will receive a... Uh, you'll receive a Star Wars card. So that's three cards. Now, you're wondering what the other three cards are. You will receive an AI, an actual PC-approved AI of one of the Hollow Theater hosts or one of the Hollow Theater's uh, winners. Like Chris Kelly, he got his, he will, he's on there, not because he's a host or anything, but because... 
he was the player, or he was the guest of the year last year. So you'll receive two of those, and then you'll receive a foil one. The foil one will be in the rare slot. Uh, instead of the rares one, every 10 packs, you will receive a AI, an AI AI, which is a, a special of uh, these cards. Uh, I want to say there's five of those. Oh, one for Scott, one for myself, one for Chris, and uh, one of Jerry. And then the last one is a Japanese hollow theater. And then in the ultra rare spot, there will be signed versions of one of those four cards. So Chris, Scott, Jerry, and myself will be signing those cards. And then those are one in every 20 packs. And then in, every, in one in every 50 pack will be a God pack. And those God packs, you will receive one of every card foil. So... And again, I've seen the images. They're awesome. Well, I mean, some of the really images cool. are, are on the screen right now. Uh, thanks to Ming, he made the, oh, uh, the okay. packet cover. So uh, you can see some of the, the representations of the images. But uh, as for the cards themselves, uh, until somebody opens these, the first person to open these and put these on social media, I'll send you another pack. Just because I want people to know what's on there. So... Uh, these will not be given out. Yeah, cool. on, they will not be given out though until nationals. So I have a list of people I need to send them to. So right now I'm just waiting on getting the actual foil paper to start making them all the. And then I gotta send the the cards to Scott, Chris, and uh, Jerry to have those signed. So uh, they will be given out starting at nationals. So if you're gonna be at nationals and you want to pack, expect one of these. Uh, if you aren't going to be at Nationals, uh, we'll get those out to you as soon as we can. And then, uh, yeah. And then after this year, we're going to have set two coming out. So uh, I'm expecting some great things with these. So hopefully. Yeah, they're, they're awesome. I'm actually. I'm just hoping That's that. That's why I'm happy I won the lore challenge. <laughs> oh, and these are all going back retroly. So if you've won a challenge for me and you've not re uh, received a prize. Let me know, and then I'll make sure you get one of these, just so I can double check off my list. I got three coming my way. No, you get two, because the advocates are getting something different. Advocates? Garrett. No, 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 tonight. no. The advocates three. are getting the advocates are getting something different. Oh my gosh! It's like Christmas for me. <laughs> You'll get those at Worlds. This is crazy. So, yeah, I, I can't wait for. So these are so think of like the the what the reflections three that uh, Chris Spencil and Kevin Yap put out, but better. Ooh, shots fired! That's what I do. And as uh, just a plug to everyone, the, the prize support has been so crazy. Like uh, the, the Jawa brawl, I'm playing in that just to get a reflection pack. This stuff, like it, the 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 heroes and and host thing, like. That's just cool. Um, it's just a lot of cool stuff that's going on. So, um, obviously the game's fun. That's cool, but like the swag, swag's top notch. You guys are all knocking out of the park with that. Also, I'm gonna be start looking for people who also want to help with hosting Hollow Theater. Uh, I know I have, we have a good team right now, but I'm always looking for more people. So if you want to come on host Hollow Theater, come on to Hollow Theater. Just talk about anything, whatever you guys want. Please let me know. Uh... Oh, oh. So I, I reached out to Jeremy, Jedi Jer, um, to see if he wanted to come on, because he obviously he, uh, went through the set. He didn't like all the cards. I thought his criticisms were mostly fair. Um, so if he's out there, he wants to come on, talk about the cards, or if anyone's like, hey, I, I think this set's terrible. What were you doing? Come on, we'll talk about it. I mean, I mostly give you my critiques, so we're good there. Yeah, no, absolutely. I, mean, I, I think we're we're open. I, I think that there's been a change in design's philosophy. We used to hate the E word, errata. Um, I don't think we view it as a failure. I think we understand the meta evolves, meta changes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we miss. Um, we're not professionals, uh, and sometimes it's better to take a risk than to not. Um, so I think the fact that we're we're just willing to do what it takes to make the game fun. It's, I'm I'm pretty proud of proud of proud of the team for that. So what about the R word? reset yeah I, I've, I there there's some um fiction out there that i'm always shutting it down um 
I, I don't think so. Um, <laughs> I think if it's needed, we'll do it. I don't think it's needed right now. So the fact that I disagree that it's necessary doesn't mean, um, you know, I have a blind eye to it. Um, I don't I don't think we need a reset right now. Okay. We'll need a reset when Slavers comes back or ATRTs. Um, well, or well you know, the thing about... I think the fact that we're... We're never going to see Slavers okay. again because Disney just did away with the Slave 1. Oh, right. So we if Boba Fett Shippers comes back, um, then uh, we would. Or Boba Fett Ship Leia yeah. comes back, then um, <laughs> we would. But um, I think we've done a great job of cutting out bloat um, mm -hmm. and making things focus and also recognizing like the last errata. Not everything that was overpowered got hit. It was stuff that was auto set up. Um, that's the kind of stuff that leads to auto play decks that just aren't fun. So I think the fact that we scaled that back, I think we're in a good sh good spot. But yeah, I'll always talk about a reset. Just because I don't want to do one right now doesn't mean um, I have a fear of it or just don't think it's. I don't think it's our right decision right now. Okay, that's fair. Okay, so I'm glad we had you on tonight, Chris. It's always a pleasure. Uh, if you had any other questions or anything, please make sure you take them up with Chris. He'll be here after your show, after the show, to handle any of your uh, issues or gripes about set fifteen. Uh, until then, next on next week, uh, I know Scott was supposed to come Wait, on. Wait, I have one more thing. Oh gosh, here we go. Yeah, go ahead. I know, I keep doing this. Um, so I'm like super, super excited about some of the stuff in sixteen, uh, and one of the things hitting hopefully playtesting soon. Who knows if we got it right? We probably didn't, and we'll change it. Um, uh, I'm just, like, super pumped about it. Uh, but I don't want to spoil it quite yet. But I'll just say um, everyone should just make sure between now and 16 to rewatch like, all the uh, the teasers and the trailers for Force Awakens. I think there's going to be some pretty cool stuff in there. Awesome. Okay, so again, I want to thank Chris for coming on tonight. Uh, I know Scott was going to come on, but he's currently in Disney World, so I can't fault the guy. Uh, yeah, until then, uh, as always, I'm Dan Tartaglione, and I will see you guys next week with another episode of Hollow Theater. Until then, everybody have a good, good night, everyone. Uh, good night and take care.